the book of Romans chapter 13 verse 11. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Like the Bible tells us, the word of the Lord, our King, our Redeemer, Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakwakodash. What did he say in the book of Luke 21? Let's get it quickly. Luke 21. Hmm? Let's go. Where is it? Luke 21. I think it's uh, starting from verse. Uh, I'm not sure, but it's probably verse 25 and up. Let's see. Let me see if I'm right. Luke 21, verse uh, 20. Just pick it up for verse 25. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth. The stress of the nations when per, uh, with perplexity, stress, eh? the sea and the waves roaring. It says men's heart failing them for the fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven, your leaders, your military men, your kings, your prime ministers, your president, they're not going to have any answer for what the Lord is about to do. It says, shall be shaken. And then shall, shall they, the whole world, it says, all eyes shall see him. Okay, the king of kings says in the book of Revelation 1, all eyes shall see the second coming of our king. Revelation 1 verse 7. It says, and they, and then shall they see the son. Who is the son? The only begotten son of our power, Yahweh. His name is Yahweh Shai. Coming in a cloud. That's why Esau calls them UFOs, but they are the chariot of Israel. Eh? He says, with power and great glory. Here is the point. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up what? Your head. Eh? Lift up your head. The elect. When these things start to come, it has come to pass. The Lord is telling you so-called Negroes, Latinos, African-American, Native American, the speckled birds spread among all these nations. The Lord says, look up. Hey? Look up. Lift your head up. Hey? For your redemption draweth nine. That is why here, the book of 2 Ezra chapter 9 verse 1. The time is why. He answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently. Hey, that's why right. measure thou the time diligently hey, in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs, the prophecies, we just read in the book of Luke, the prophecies, hey, it says here, when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shall thou understand. Only the elect are focusing on prophecy. Because why? That's why we are about to welcome our king, our redeemer, Yahweh Shai. He said, then shall thou understand. That is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. By what? Bringing these prophecies to pass and then leading to his second coming. Our king, our redeemer, Yahweh Shai. Before I get into the headline news, family. <laughs> Let's give honor and glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bahashem, Rekakadash. Yahweh, Barakata, Yahweh, Barakata, Yahweh, Shai, Barakata, Yahweh, Barakata, Yahweh, Shai. Call Allah, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bahashem, Rekakadash. Family, we are about to go home. That's why it says here, again, let's go back. Did I read it? Ah, uh, where was it? Where was it? Eh? Um, what was it? Was it Romans? That's okay. We will leave it there. Eh? Knowing the time, this is a high time to awake out of sleep because what well, our salvation, it, it, our salvation is here. It is here because family, so much is happening today. Is what the sixth of June, family. Uh, hmm? Six, six, six for Esau, Edom, and eh? six June is what the sixth man, and then what today is the sixth. And then June 2024, you add the two, that's 666. Six, six. This is a, a very heavy, heavy day for Esau, Edom. But we're going to get into the headline news, family. So much is happening. So much is happening. And uh, we are extremely grateful. If I didn't say it again, 
I don't think I said it, but you know what? It's never too late. Let's give double honors to our head apostles from the great millstone, the elders, the bishop that taught us this truth. Salutation, peace to the Lord's elect. Starting with the 144,000, the tabernacle of David. That's why it's being built right in front of Esau's eyes and he can't see it. You think what? The Lord is going to destroy this nation, destroy this world and don't have a government in place? No. That's right. This kingdom is going to fall and a new government is going to take over. Under Yahweh Shai, our king. It says that it tells you that in the book of uh, Isaiah chapter, chapter 9 verse 6. Mm? Again, double honest to our head apostles, the true leaders of Israel today, and the bishop, the elders, eh, from the great millstone. Eh? And uh, <clears throat> salutation, peace to the lost elect. Okay, the 144,000 pushing this glorious gospel. Lifting up the name of our King, our Redeemer, Yahweh Shai. Making Yahweh Shai, the name Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, the forefront of what? Our faith. That's why it's all about Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Let the focus be on our King, our Redeemer, Yahweh Shai, and His Father, Yahweh. Eh? That's what it's all about. Okay? Family, few articles to get into. And then uh, we will see where the Spirit leads us. Family, we brought this earlier. But yes, everybody's talking about it. Eh? Majority of the mainstream media, mainstream media is not going to pick it up. But across Europe, everybody's talking about this from World News 24-7. Emergency. Milestone decision by Putin. Eh? Hit US bases and NATO targets around the world. Okay? That's why it says, hit US bases and NATO targets around the world. I mentioned this, but yes, family is picking up steam. Because Russia, Putin is under tremendous pressure from the elite of Russian society to do something. So, yes. Yeah. So, the decision has been made. It is coming. That's why the Bible says what? Oh, family, I got to bring this thing out. I can't let it go. Let's give honor and go. I can't let it go. Let's bring it. Let's open up another. Oh, let's go here. Let's open up another another uh, another Bible here. Let's go here. Straight to the point. Habakkuk. Habakkuk. The Bible tells us what? The vision is for what? An appointed time. It says here. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 3. For the vision. What's the vision? The prophecy. That's what we are focusing on. Family. It's all about the prophecy. Jumping off the pages. It says for the vision is there for an appointed time. And. Eh? But at the end, what then? We are at the end. So that is why, family, things are happening so fast. The days are flying by. Family, can you believe it's what? It's June 6th already? Two, yesterday, yesterday we said, oh, June 1st. We were making fun. It's June. But family, it's June 6th. You see how quickly the, door, the Lord is moving the days forward? Because Yahweh Shai said it. He said, for my elect's sake, I'm going to cut the time short. That's why, family, we can't glorify the name of our power, Yahweh Baha Hashem, enough. The days are flying, and he's bringing these prophecies to pass. He, he says here, Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 3. He said, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. He said, though it tarry, it feels like it's taking forever. The Lord says, what? Wait for it, because what? It will surely come. It will not tarry. The vision, that's right. America, but I'm sorry, Russia taking down America is not going to prolong. It's just a matter of when. It's coming. That's why it's coming. It's fast approaching. Microchip is coming. Family, everything is coming together. Yes? Lord willing, like our beloved apostle to her, coin 2024 to be what? The hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. Barakata, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai. We need trouble, family. Without trouble, we, what, we don't need deliverance. We have to be in trouble to be delivered. You see, that's why it's called Jacob's trouble. The Lord says, Jacob shall be delivered out of it. The Lord is referring to the elect. The Lord is not coming to save all Israel. That's why. Right. Forget what you learn in plantation Christianity. All right? The Lord doesn't love everybody. He hates a lot of people. He's coming to kill a lot of people. All right? He's, he's going to show mercy on, on those that love him. Eh? That's, why, that's why he's going to show mercy upon the elect. He says what? He says, no one can lay any charge to the Lord's elect. It's the Lord that justify us. So we pray that we are part of the elect. Eh? By what? That's right. Listening to what? The voice of our shepherd, which is what? Yahweh Shai. So the vision is speaking. Family, it says here. It says, let me read this again. Emergency. 
milestone decision by Putin hit U.S. bases and NATO targets around the world. Russia passive attitude is over. 900 U.S. bases targeted. Medvedev, we will hit our common enemies. For 3.5 hours, the president of Russia, Putin, informed international media correspondent about Moscow's change of attitude towards the U.S. and NATO. Russia will now arm all U.S. NATO enemies. I brought this out earlier. But family, I got to bring it out again. And to strike U.S. military bases and targets around the world in an application of the enemy of my enemy is my friend doctrine. You listen to that? Let's repeat that again. So now you have what? Who, who are you, uh, Americans' enemy across, the, across the, 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 the global south? Across what? Uh, West Asia. Who is that? That's why right. we have Iran. You have the Houthis. You have Iraq. You have all these uh, Arab countries that hate Syria. That's why right. that hates America. Hmm? And now Russia is saying that what? They are going to make sure that they are ready. That is Ezekiel 38. Because the Lord, the Lord says what? There will be a lot of country. Let's go down there quickly. You see, I wasn't going to go there, but the Spirit said I should go there. You see, Ezekiel 38, the Lord listed. I'm not going to go just straight to the point. The Lord gives what? Persia. That's what modern day Iran. Ezekiel 38 verse 5. He said Persia. That's modern day Iran. Ethiopia and Libya. These are all the nations that America have destroyed. I don't know about Ethiopia, but I know Libya. Gaddafi. That's right. So, um, so Russia is saying they're going to make... Let me repeat that again. It says here. Uh, where is it? Russia will now arm all U.S. NATO enemies to strike U.S. military bases and targets around the world in an application of the quote... Enemy of my enemy is my friend doctrine. That's a doctrine now, family. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. So these are the nations. Persia, Ethiopia, Libya, with them. All of them with shield and helmet. Goma, that whole region encompassing, uh, what is it called? Turkey. Eh? And all the bands of the house of Togoma. Eh? Of the north quarters and all his bands, all the military. But listen to this. And many people with thee. So not just going to be all these nations that the Lord listed here. In Ezekiel 38, 5 and 38, 6. They're going to be other nations. You hear that? And many people with thee. Including North Korea. North Korea has been waiting for the opportunity to shoot missiles on America. And China is there. Family, that's right. Oh, don't forget what they did to they do they did in, in Vietnam. Oh yeah, this is what the Lord is about to do. So here, the Lord is going to use what Russia because that's what he says. What the, the uh, son of man said, "I face against Gog, Gog. That's the land, the land of Magog. Magog is what one of the uh, Jaff, uh, Jaff, uh, what is it called? Uh, it's Japhet, Japhet's sons." But that whole region right now where Russia is, that's why that land belongs to what? Belongs to Japheth. That's right. But now it is occupied by modern day Russia. That's right. The Rus. The prince. The what? Uh, 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 let, 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 let me read that again. Son of man. Eh? The chief prince of what? Meshach and Tubo. That is Russia family. That is Russia. Eh? You see here. You see, you see, uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? We hope the West got Putin's message. Stay Duma. So now, it's not just Russia and Medvedev and all these people talking about it. The whole Russia political class is saying that, Putin, what are you waiting for? Enough is enough. So the pressure is on. He says here, stay Duma member. That is what, uh, that's the equivalent to what uh, uh, they will call it, uh, uh, the Senate or the Congress of, uh, it's, it's equivalent to America Senate. That's right. This is, it says the State Duma member, Leonid Slotsky, added that Russia's patience is certainly long, but it's not what? Unlimited. That's right. That's what he said. I mean, Russia can deliver long-range weapons to regions of the world, which will be followed by sensitive attacks on states that supply Ukraine with weapons, said Putin. Things are escalating very quickly, and Putin has to do something. He has to do something. But let's get the next one. So this is what happened this afternoon. The Ukrainian, Zero Hedge, he said the Ukrainian bombarded the Russian hinterland 
30 kilometers deep with high mass. That's American supply. High mass belongs to America. An M27 order to enter Kharkiv for the bulk of Russian forces. Ukraine, it says here, the armed forces of Ukraine are already operating with U.S. and eh? basically U.S. weapons at, at, at a depth of 30 kilometers inside the Russian hinterland. Information speaks of at least 13 eh, to 14 launches. Ukraine has already used American weapons to strike the Belgorod region, said the deputy chairman of the Verkhovna Rada Committee on National Security Issue. So yes, it's clear. So now Russia have to respond. If Russia is not going to sit back and do nothing about it, eh? This is what is coming. But you know what? Before I do that, let's go here. I want to show you something here. Where was it? Where was it? Um, I know Russia is making some serious move. Where did I? Let me see it. Which one is this? No, that's not it. But we're gonna get there. Another Russia. Let me see. That's Macron. That is, uh, which one is it? This is what Russia did today. Let me, you know what? Let me move these things here. Let me move them. I thought I did them. Okay. So here, this is this afternoon, 06, 06, 24, uh, 809 p.m. on their time. 300 Western mercenaries killed by Russian Iskander, Iskander ballistic missile fire in Kharkov. The attack almost completely wiped out the mercenary potential of the Ukraine defense in the region. Yeah, family, the Lord is about to set this place on fire. He already told, told us. Yahweh Shai says this place is literally going to be on fire before he shows up. He said the Russian army launched a missile attack on the camp of foreign Western mercenaries in the city of Wa, Miev, in the Kharkov region, using NK-720 Iskander missile, tactical ballistic missile. The attack resulted in the destruction of the recreation center where at, at that time there were at least 300 Western mercenaries as well as soldiers of the Ukrainian army. Yes, family, this is just the beginning stages of it. But let's go here. I know Russia ships are on its way to, um, to Cuba. Where was that? Let me see if I can. Yes, family, listen to this. Russia sends supersonic Zircon missiles out of Florida. They will visit Cuba. And nuclear-powered submarine in the flotilla. Listen to this. Russia ships are heading to Cuba for aeronautical exercises. And the U.S. may be talking about calm. However, there is concern among the staff as among the ships will be an Admiral Goshkov class frigate and a nuclear powered submarine Kazan which will be able to carry missiles Zircon according to unarmed US military sources the Russian ships are being tracked by ISR air platforms and electronic warfare aircraft as they head to the Caribbean mm -hmm. Russian forces are also possibly planning to embark on a naval base in Venezuela while most of the time they will be in Cuba ports. How far is Cuba from America? It's not far. That's right. It's not far. Now Russia is right at the door. <laughs> you me? Huh? The Lord says, the vision was for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak. Our salvation is, is coming. It's coming, family. It's coming. Hmm? Things are happening. Oh, don't get it twisted. Things are happening. But which one is this here? Oh, yeah, this is it. Look at this this afternoon. It says this here. All Black Sea Fleet ships in battle position. Caliber launched to Odessa. All ships are in the port in a battle formation. Okay. Class 636 submarines have also sailed. Look at this image here. That's the image. Look, look at this here. These are all the ships. Something major is, is about to happen. Let's read a bit here. Let's go back. Let's go back here. It says, according to satellite images, all warships of the Russian Black Sea Fleet are in combat mode with simultaneous reports of the launch of at least 24 caliber missiles from three missile-carrying corvettes. 
The 636 class submarines have also sailed, presumably in a dive. Some of the ships are in the main channel of Novrosky, uh, can pronounce that, between 500 meters and 2.5 kilometers from the entrance to the naval jetties. Update. Navy has changed its pattern in Navros, Navrosiek, moving warship from berth in the naval base to position in the bay. Other ships sailing to Crimea in formation. See following post. Man, look at what the Lord is doing for us, man. Family, these prophecies are jumping off the pages. Eh? They are jumping off the pages. Now, listen to this now. Israel now is about to go against what? Against Hezbollah in the northern, in Lebanon. Okay? That war is about to pop off. The whole Middle East is about to be set on fire. It's called Middle East. That's, that's not the proper, that's, that's the, in the name Esau gave, but that's West Asia. Okay? The Levant. That's where the war of Armageddon is going to take place. And, but let's bring a precept here. Let's go here. Let's go here. Let's go here. First and foremost, let's go first Thessalonians, the day of the Lord. The day of the Lord. <laughs> Family, we are so excited. Excited. Family, captivity is almost over, man. It's over. Hey, let's, let's, it's over. Family, before those nuclear missiles hit America, guess what? The elect have to be redeemed. That's how close we are. So yes, that's how close we are. And these people are talking about nuclear war. From that goes to show you, we are very, very close. And you should be excited. It's at the day of the Lord. 1 Thessalonians 5, 1. Mm -hmm. But of the times and the season, eh? Brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. Why is that? I just went through it through. Uh, uh, I just read, we just read uh, Luke 21. The Lord said the signs. Because you are witness, you are seeing it. You are seeing, you are seeing, if you can see, pray fast that the Lord can give you the eyes off to see it. If you, the elect can see it, the hopeful elect can see it. Family is clear as day. We say, Barakata Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Kakadash, man. He said, but, the, the, but, the, but of the times and of the season, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. Eh? For yourself know perfectly. That the day of the Lord so come as a thief in the night. But here, eh? But you, the hopeful elect, it should not come as a thief because you are watching. If you are out there watching your house, family, a thief, a thief nobody's going to break into your house. No, you are there, you are watching. You are watching because what? You are to consider what? The wise virgin. You have the oil, you have this word in you. You have Yahweh Shai in you. Yahweh Shai is the word. Hey, he comes in the volume of the book. This is all, this is all about your king, Yahweh Shai. His spirit dwells in you, man. That's what Apostle says. Apostle Paul said it best here. He says what? It shouldn't come as a surprise to you. He says here, for yourself know perfectly that the day of the Lord, Lord, so come as a thief in the night. Family, you go to the mainstream media. Nobody's talking about what is happening right now. No. No. Actually, you know what? Let's do something quickly. Let's go to CNN. Let's see what, what, let's just do it. CNN. Let's see what's on CNN. Okay. Let's see what's on CNN. Yeah. This, this is the headline on CNN. Starliner crew is now on the space station after encountering issue. That's it. And space as star warship, sea warship, uh, why telling time on the moon and family. This is CNN. This is what they're telling you. Eh? World War II veteran dies on en route to D Day anniversary. USA post of shocking upset in Pakistan at men's uh, what, cricket World Cup. Family, President Biden say, this is what they are telling you. Let's go. Let's do another one. Let's go to, how about we go to Fox? Let's go to Fox News. Mm -hmm. It's your mainstream media. That's why it's going to come as a thief in the night for a while. A lot of, let's look, look at this. Trump supports surge in state Biden. That's right. The same vomit. This is not, this is just pure vomit. That's why, that's why it's going to take people by surprise when those missiles start flying. Because what? The mainstream media is not going to tell you what is happening. But the men of the Lord, the Lord said we should be what? occupied in prophecy. We should be occupied. Bon Jovi reveals affectionate high school note from his wife of 35 years. Family, the world is about to be set on fire, but they're telling you about what? That's right. Bon Jovi's love letters. That's what is happening. That's right. 
That is what it... You know what, family, I don't want to bore you too much with it. Let's continue. Let's go here. Thessalonians. That's why it's going to take a lot of people by surprise. But for you, the hopeful elect that are watching, it shouldn't come as a surprise to you because what? You are following the prophets. You are listening to what the prophets are saying, starting with our head apostles. It says here, For yourself know perfectly that the day of the Lord so come as a thief in the night. For when they... And shall say peace and safety. That's what Esau is telling you. Right now, he's telling you that everything is fine. Oh, don't worry. We know that the BF is coming, but then we're going to have the solution. That's right. The ticket is going to keep you safe. Remember? It's going to definitely keep you safe. You're never going to catch it again. You're going to go back to work and everything's going to be fine. And we're telling you, you've been warned. You see, the Lord says, Who shall pity a charmer? Bitten by uh, it, who shall pity a family? I don't want to butcher it, I must well get it. Let's go to Ecclesiasticus, and eh? we've been warning you, and eh? Ecclesiasticus 12, I believe. Let's go here. Who shall pity a charmer bitten by snake? 12, where is it? Uh, is it Ecclesiasticus? Ecclesiasticus 12. Oh, yeah, 13. Let me highlight this quickly. 13. The Lord says what? Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent? You trust this friggin, you trust, you trust this wicked man. The Lord already warned you, gave you the list of all your enemies, telling you not to trust your enemy. The men of the Lord have been, have been singing this song to you. And eh? through the spirit and power of our King, our Redeemer, Yahweh Shai, warning you, don't follow the serpent. That's right. So the Lord is telling, he says, who will pity? So if you go, and that's right, you're playing with this snake here and the snake bites you, you think we will feel sorry for you? No, we won't feel sorry for you because you refuse to take heed. Eh? He said, who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent or any such as come nigh a wild, a wild, wild beast? That's Esau Edom. He is the wild beast. That's why the Lord says, stay away from him. You see? But let's continue here. Hmm? It says, when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction come upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. And the peace, of, peace and safety also is going to come in the form of what? The karagma, the microchip, after he collapsed the system. That's why he's going to say, oh, you haven't eaten in a few days. Here, here, come, 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 come. Just take this thing here. We're going to give you universal basic income, and everything is going to be fine. That's right. And the Lord is going to destroy you. We are warning you through the spirit and power of our king, our redeemer, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is going to deliver his elect. Trust and believe. Trust and believe that the king of king, the lord of lord, is going to make things right for us, man. We are, he tells you, read the Bible, believe the word that is written in it. It says, although it is Jacob's trouble, Jacob shall be saved out of it. It says, because you have kept the word of my patience, I'm also going to keep you in the hour of temptation that shall come upon all the earth and eh? the whole world. Everybody's going to be tempted. But you, because you took heed to this message, you trust in the king of kings. The Lord says, he got you. That's why it says, knowledge and wisdom is going to be the stability of the time and the strength of what? Our salvation. Don't worry about what Esau is doing. The microchip in his hand, the Lord gave it to him. You see? You have absolutely nothing to worry about. It says here, For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction come upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape it. But ye, brethren, that's why you, my people, the elect, are not in darkness. You are not in darkness. You are not listening to CNN. You are not watching our Fox News. Because farm is nothing but vomit. They're not going to tell you what Russia is about to do. They're not telling you about the third world war. No, they're keeping you in the dark. But you are not in darkness. He said, but ye brethren are not in darkness. That, that day should overtake you as a thief. Exactly. Exactly. Because what? You are following the shepherd. Which is what? Yahweh Shai. He says, you listen. You shall know the truth and what? That's Yahweh Shai is the truth. And the truth shall what? Make you free. Yahweh Shai have made you free. You are not afraid. You are not out there buying gold and silver and building a bunker. No, because you are what? You are trusted in Yahweh Shai. Yahweh, you said Yahweh Shai is going to deliver you because you believe in the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. That is what it's all about. Now, this is coming from what? Uh, Israel, the people of the book. Family, remember? They are the people of the book. Eh? That's right. 
You know, they, they were able to fool the whole world, but they didn't fool the Lord's elect. It's a generalized eh, conflict with Hezbollah. Israel decided 350,000 reservists in arms. Iron Dome artillery destroyed with 18 Tama missiles. Iron Dome is what? There's almost like their defense um, apparatus. It's able to shoot missiles, you know, coming down in, into Israel. But family, that, is, that's, that, that, uh, that has been rendered useless. Mm -hmm. That's right. Because when Iran sent those missiles uh, to Israel, yeah, some penetrated uh, the Iron Dome, couldn't protect them. They are not going to be safe, family. They are not the people of the book. There's no way in the Bible that says when they return, when they go back on that land, when Israel go back on that land, there will be war. Uh-uh, it's not written. It actually says the opposite. Isaiah 2 tells us there will be peace on the earth. When we go back to the land, there will be no more war. How I told you? Actually, you know what though? Since I quoted it, I must well bring it in case there might be a new listener. Let's go to Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 2 quickly. Okay, just straight. It says here, the word that Isaiah, the son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. That's right. It's all about the Israelite, the 12th tribe. And, and it shall come to pass in the last days, that's the time that we are living in now, that the mountain of the Lord's house, the mountain, which is what? A government, right? Eh? Shall be established in the top of the mountains and shall be what? Exalted above the hills and all nations shall flow into it. You ask yourself, a nation flowing into Israel right now? No, as a matter of fact, people are fleeing. Those with what? Double, uh, they have a dual citizenship. They are fleeing Israel. That's why nobody's flowing in there. Okay? It says here, verse 3, it says, And many people shall go and say, Come ye, and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, Yahweh, to the house of the power of Jacob, and he will teach us his ways, and we will walk in his path. For out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord, Yahweh from Jerusalem. That's right. Nations will flow in there. The laws, the law, statutes, and commandments, once, once Yahweh Shai shows up, he's going to change us first and foremost. He's going to redeem us by the time, Lord willing, by the time we get into the ship, family, the law, statutes, and commandments is going to be in our heart. I'm just saying as a man, but we're going to be changing. We're going to be changing. The moment we receive that new body, the law, statutes, and commandments are going to be in our heart. We're going to know it. But we have to teach these nations. The nations are not going to receive new bodies. It's only Israel. Only Israel are going to receive. But this time, it's going to be the elect of Israel. They're going to receive their new bodies. We're going to shed off this one, and the Lord is going to bless us with our new body. Yahweh Ratazah. And it says what? And we're going to teach these nations about righteousness. The Lord says in the book of Revelation, He's going to make us what? Kings and priests upon this earth. You see? That is what is waiting the elect. You see? It says here, and he shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people and they shall beat their sword. Listen to this. Remember what we said? There will be no more war, war when Yahweh takes over the throne. It says here, and they shall beat their sword, the nations, eh, into plowshares. That's why farming equipment. Everybody's going back. It's going to the stone ages. It's all going to be farming. Eh? Eh? And their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation. That's mean what? There will be no more war. Neither shall they learn war anymore. That's the point. So you ask yourself, who are these people? The family, they are playing a perfect role in this movie. The Lord says what? The land of Israel shall be trodden down by the Gentiles. They are the Gentiles. They are them and the so-called Arab fighting over the so-called Palestinian. That's right. There are Israelites among them, but majority of those people living there, they don't belong on the land. The land don't, the land don't belong. The land belongs to the Israelites. And you see how shy that's going to take us home. You don't need to buy no airplane and jump on a plane. Sorry, buy, buy an airplane. Buy a ticket and jump on a plane and go to the land of Israel. No. Yahweh shy is going to take us home in style. Lord willing, we are among the numbers. Family, it says here, uh, topic for days is the final Israel. Sorry, the final Israel Hezbollah showdown, Netanyahu green light. The IDF command is calling up an additional 50,000 reservists, a total of 350,000 as general conflict with Hezbollah in the southern Lebanon has been decided. Family, this is like music to our ears. Israeli authorities, Israeli media and analysts are talking about a ground military operation against Hezbollah in southern Lebanon. 
Eh? And family, we say, Barakata Yahawah, Bahashem, Yahawah Shai, Bahashem, Rekha Kodash. Mm. Things are moving. Things are moving. And here, listen to what Macron said this afternoon. <laughs> family, we can make this up. Eh? These people here, these world leaders, they are on a suicide mission. Yes. It's like they've had enough. They, they, want, they want this world to end. But it's the Lord that is directing their path. Remember what the Bible says, the king's heart, meaning your mind in the book of Proverbs 21, the Bible says the king's heart, which the word heart in the Hebrew word is what love means your mind is in the hand of the Lord, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. It says like the rivers of water, he turn it whichever way he chooses. So the Lord is directing their mind. You see, he put their, he sealed their instruction, like it says in the book of Job, he sealed their instruction for them. Yeah, a man's going is of the Lord. The fact that Macron announced that he is given Mirage 2000. These are the flight. The, sorry, these are the jets. 2000, five fighters to Ukraine. Yeah, start training program immediately. French President Emmanuel Macron announced a while ago that France will provide Mirage 2000 5 fighter jets to Ukraine, saying the French Mirage fighter jet will allow Ukraine to protect its territory. And its airspace. In no way are we at war with Russia and its people. Listen to this nonsense. Like they actually believe. Listen, to, these are the leaders of this country. Macron is considered the president of France. And look at the statement that he made. He says, In no way are we at war with Russia and its people. From let that make sense. Let that sink in. Yes. Let that sink in. You think about it, family. Let that sink. These are the leaders of this world today. So Russia is just going to say that, oh, no, NATO is not at war with, uh, 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 with Russia. Russia, yeah. You know what? Yeah, you're just sending all these missiles to Ukraine to fight us, but you are not at war with us. That goes to show you that the Lord indeed says, well, there's no more wisdom in team. And the Lord has taken all wisdom from them. The Lord is about to show his power. So this is the idea on all on suicide mission. Macron, without revealing the number of aircraft to be sent to Kiev, but many are talking about at least two squadrons. What is a squadron? I think it's what um, what is squadrons? It's, I think it's a look up squadrons. Squadron, an operational unit in an air force consisting of two or more flights of aircraft and a personal personnel required to fly them a principal division of an armored or cavalry re regiment consisting of two or more troops okay a group of warships warship detached on particular duty or under the command of a, f a flag officer okay all right so yeah that's what is happening family breaking france will transfer five fighter jets oh five now five fighter jets mirage 2000 to Ukraine and will train Ukraine pilots. Macron says, yeah. And you believe that. That's right. Yes. Things are happening. What is this one? Which one is this? No, that's a, that's a repeat. Let's go back here. Uh, this one I want to bring out. Uh, where is it? No, we read this already. Sorry, sorry, family. Oh yeah, this is this. Yeah, this one. Yes, yeah. So Stoltenberg is what the the NATO head, right? He's the chief of NATO. Listen to what he said. He said this afternoon. Stoltenberg, eh? It is not an escalation with Russia if NATO soldiers fight on the side of Ukraine. <laughs> and family, the same way Macron, the French president, is saying that what? Well, yeah, we are sending our jets. Our we we supplying. Ukraine with missiles, but it's okay. We are not uh, at war with Russia. Just leave us alone. France is not involved or NATO. So this is the NATO chief family. These are the people ruling over us today. Having low oh. energy oh, is come on. very I gotta, common. I gotta, I, gotta, I gotta stop this. Sorry. I don't know why this thing is so sensitive, man. So let's go on. NATO gradual involvement. Listen to the NATO's gradual involvement in the war in Ukraine is shown by the statement of what Stoltenberg, who for some reason believes that Russia will not respond. So yeah, family, Putin, you see, 
That's okay. He said, they, he said just poke the bear and you're going to find out. It says here, today, it says, it says GG of the organization referred to the deployment of NATO. Eh? Soldiers fighting alongside Ukraine forces and believe that this eh, does not mean that NATO is involved in a war with Russia. You can't make this up. We are helping Ukraine. This is, this is, we are helping Ukraine without sending combat troops to directly participate in the war. That makes us a supporter of Ukraine, but not participant in the conflict. Stoltenberg said, we have the right to support Ukraine without becoming a party to the conflict. So we are on... Family, can, you can't make this up. It's like, it's, it's like, am I reading this right? Let me read it this again. We have the right to support Ukraine without becoming a party to the conflict. So we are on the edge. Another way to prevent escalation by supporting Ukraine is to support it at the same time as expanding the military presence in the eastern parts of the NATO alliance. We were very prepared for a full-scale invasion on February 24 because we had very good intelligence that it was going to happen, Stoltenberg said. You can't make this up. It's like, family, indeed, the Lord indeed is hardening these people's heart, just like Pharaoh, just like the Lord. We can't, I cannot believe that these people are actually, they are on a suicide mission. This is what the Lord is doing for us. The Lord told us, it says, well, the vision is for an appointed, by, uh, appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. It says, although it tarry, wait for it. We are here, family. We are here. They are about to destroy the, their kingdom. We say Barakata Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. We are here. We are here. We are at the door. Let's give. Let's, let's bring out. <coughs> hey, let's go here. Isaiah thirty-four. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? We can't make this up. Isaiah thirty-four. It says the Most High wrath against the nations. It says come near ye nations. To hear, let's read this in the NLT. I mean, it reads a little better. It's harder. And eh? NLT, it says, come here and listen, oh, nations of the earth. You hear that? Nations of the earth. If anybody tell you that the Lord loves everybody, the Lord is all up the day of the Lord. Everybody's going to be holding hands and singing Kumbaya. Everybody is going to get flowers, candies, and, and cucumbers, and watermelon. Yes. That's right. This is, what, this is the image the church paint, painted. Eh? That's why the, the church told you that our, our king, Yahawashai, is very soft. That's why he's coming to grab babies and hug babies and kiss babies. No, that's the opposite, actually. The Lord is coming to slaughter. He's coming to kill a lot of people. He said the day of the Lord is not going to be fine. It's dark and it's going to be a very gloomy day. The sun will not give its light. The moon will not give its light. There are going to be earthquakes, tsunami. He said the earth is going to rock to and fro from the missiles and the chaos that the Lord is bringing. That is the day of the Lord. But nobody is going to paint that picture for you except the men of the Lord. We are referred to as what? The, uh, the prophets of doom. That's right. But we will take that title proudly. Because we hate this wicked world and we can't wait for this wicked world to be destroyed by our king, our redeemer, Yahweh Shai. Yes. Isaiah 34 verse 1. It says, come here and listen, O nations of the earth. Let the world and everything in it hear my words. You hear that? Everybody's going to know that this destruction came directly from our power. Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. That's why Yahweh Shai said it best in the book of Luke 12, verse 49. He says, I wish this place is already on fire. That's right, roughly power phrasing. Hmm? Luke 12, verse 49. Read it. Read it in the NLT. It hits harder. He says he wished this place is already on fire before he shows up. And indeed, it's going to be on fire. Eh? It says, Isaiah 34, verse 1. Come here and listen, O nations of the earth. Let the world and everything in it hear my words. You hear that? Everything in it. It says, for the Lord Yahweh is enraged. When somebody is enraged for me, they are upset. Eh? And because the Lord says, because of wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth. Yes, they've taken this, the Lord, Yahweh Shai's creation, and they've turned it upside down. And you don't even, you can't tell the difference between a woman and a man anymore. 
There's no seed in the fruit that we buy from the grocery store anymore. There's no cleaning water. Clean. You can drink water. Family, you are buying bottled water. That's why not everything is defiled under this man's rulership. That is why we can't wait for the Lord to destroy this place. We can't wait. Eh? And so for the Lord is enraged against the nations. His fury is against all their armies. He will completely, you see that? Completely destroy them, dooming them to slaughter. That's why it says in the book of Jeremiah 25 verse 33, it says the slain of the Lord is going to cover the entire earth. And Isaiah 66 also says the same thing. Yeah, it is going to cover the entire earth. That is why the elites of this society, their first, their first job in the kingdom, they're going to be going around burying bodies. That's right. The elite, take all the elite, the, 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 the Oppenheimers, the Rothschild, and the, 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 what is it called? The DuPont. That's right. Yeah. Their first job, the first job for them in the kingdom, they're going to be going around the world, burying all the bodies that the Lord has laid to the ground. That is what is coming. That's what we're telling you. Before it happens, so the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, will get all the glory. We can't wait. He said, they are dead. Eh? They are dead will be left unburied. And the stench, and eh? the stench of rotten bodies will fill the land. The mountains will flow with their blood. If you read this thing here, does this sound like the Lord is playing? Does this, if this doesn't put fear in you, oh yeah, that means, yeah, you are not part of the elect. Yeah, you see, mm -hmm. the elect, that's why, that's why it says, work on your own salvation with fear and trembling. I don't want to be caught in this, and I pray that the listeners, the hopefully, like, the ones that tune in, tune in day in and day out, taking heed to this message, I pray, really pray that we all find mercy when Yahweh Shai shows up, that the Lord will deliver us, protect our household, that's what we're hoping for. That's why we do this work diligently. No matter what is happening in our life, we put this work first through the spirit and power of our King, our Redeemer, Yahweh Shai, so that when He shows up, He will have mercy on us. And He said it. He says He's not unrighteous to forget what? The, 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 let me get it. Let me get it. I don't want to butcher it. Family, we're here already. So let's go here. I think it's, uh, I think it's Hebrew. Is it Hebrew 6? Let's go there. Hebrew. Is it Hebrew 6? I think it's Hebrews 6 10. I could be wrong. Hebrews 6 verse 10. That's right. Verse 10. It says, For the power is not unrighteous, okay, to forget your work and the labor and labor of love which ye have shown towards his name, in that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. I have never read it in the NLT, but let's get that quickly. Okay. It says here. For the power is not unjust. He will not forget how hard you have worked for him and how you have shown your love to him by caring for other believers as you still do. That's right. So that's why we do this work here. That when the Lord shows up, that you have mercy on us. So take heed to this message. Again, let me go back here. It says here, it says the heavens above. No, it says, it says their dead will be left unburied and the stench of rotten bodies will fill the land. The mountains will flow with their blood. The heavens above will melt away and disappear like a, a rolled up scroll. The stars will fall from the sky like what? Withered leaves. I said, uh, withered leaves from a grapevine or shrivel fixed from a fig tree. These are talking about Esau's planes, his drones. That's why he's not going to have access to the air anymore. When the Lord shows up, family, all his aircraft, his drones, everything is going to come down. And that's the end of Esau's kingdom. That's so what we are reading right now, the news, the headline, is all leading to this. The second coming of our king, our redeemer, Yahweh Shai. This is how close we are. The third world war, in the midst of third world war, Yahweh Shai is showing up. He says that in what? Let's go there. Revelation first, Revelation, Revelation, uh, let's go to Revelation 12.7. Revelation 12, 7. Let's go back to KJV. It tells you, Revelation 12, 7. This is in the midst of Third World War. And Mike and the angel Michael 
Because why? You go back, let's go back. It says the angel Michael, right? And then it goes back, it tells you here. Let me go back quickly to what? Let me bring out, before we go back, let's go to the, the book of Daniel. Daniel 12, one. Daniel 12 tells us. And at that time, what time? The time of Jacob's trouble. Jeremiah 30, verse 7. Shall Michael stand up? The great prince. The Michael is what? The archangel. He's all about war. So he's stepping in directly behind Yahawashai to deliver the children of Israel. But let's read on. It says, And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, who is standing for what? The children of thy people. And there shall be what? A time of trouble. Such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time, thy people. Whose people? The Lord, the elect. That's right. Shall be delivered. Everyone that shall be found written in the book. The book is what? The elect were picking, were, were, cho were chosen before the foundation of the earth to receive this glorious gospel. That's right. That's what, that's the Michael. That's Michael. So Michael is coming right in the midst of what? Second world, third world war, sorry. It says, and there was a war in heaven. That's here. In the sky. Esau and his military. Russia and, that's right, all these nations is, is in the midst of third world war. In the Levant, wherever, and North Korea, South Korea, everybody's going to be dancing. That's the third world war. And that's when the Lord, Michael, is going to show up with Yahweh Shai. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. That's Esau's military. And the dragon fought and his angels. That's his military. His drones, his submarines, his aircraft carriers. Oh, that's right. Whatever they use, right? The modern day war, uh, wep weaponry. That's Esau's angels. And then what? They're going to go against what? Michael and the archangel, Yahawashai, and the angel. Because Yahawashai is coming with thousands of angels. And the dragon was cast. It says here, and it says here, verse said, and dragon fought and his angels and prevailed not. Esau is not going to win. Self proclaimed white man is not going to win this war against Yahawashai. Neither was their place found anymore in heaven. They were never going to have access to the air anymore. Elon Musk is not going to put satellite in, in space. It is over. That's where everything is leading. All this news, all this information, all this, uh, what is it called? Uh, prophecies that we bring into you through the spirit and power of our king, our redeemer, Yahweh Shai, because that's the testimony. It says in the book of Revelation 20, uh, 1910, the testimony of our king is what? The spirit of what? Prophecy. That's why. Right. That's why we found it. It's all prophecy. We are not here to preach prosperity gospel. You have to go to that hallowed uh, uh, houses, the call uh, plantation Christianity, those churches. That's where you're going to find prosperity gospel. But the men of the Lord, we are occupied in prophecy. And then it says here, and the great dragon was cast out. That old serpent eh, called the devil, that's Esau, Edom, and Satan, meaning what? The adversary. Always stand, always doing the opposite of whatever the Lord says we should do. Esau says, the Lord says, I put two men, uh, sorry, I put, that's the devil. The Lord says, I put a man and a woman together. Esau says what? I put two men together, two women together. That's right. The Lord says, be fruitful and multiply. Esau says, no, let me open up baby deletion clinic in every, uh, every, every neighborhood where the Israelite lives so they can continue to uh, destroy each other. That's, that's Esau. That he's the adversary of the Lord. He is Satan, the self-proclaimed white man, eh? which deceived the whole world. He was cast out into what? the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. His military, everything is going to be destroyed when Yahweh Shai shows up. It says that also in the what? The book of uh, 2 Ezra chapter 13. So, beloved, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to leave it there. A lot, a lot of things are, are, are happening, and we say the Lord, we thank the Lord, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, and continue to stay prayed up, you know, continue to stay prayed up. We're almost out of here, man. The kingdom is coming. Yahweh Shai is not going to disappoint us, man. Remember what he says, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I'm also going to deliver you in the hour of temptation that shall come upon the whole earth. The Lord guide us. 
He says it's not unrighteous to forget to forget what to forget the our labor of love. Again, I'm gonna hit this here quickly. Let's go to uh, uh, Corinthians, First Corinthians, the last verse here. It says here. Let's read the last verse here. It says here. Therefore, First Corinthians fifteen fifty eight. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable. Always abounding in the work of the Lord. Always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Family, we're going to be rewarded heavily. Heavily. And Lord willing, it says here, NLT. So my dear brothers and sisters, be strong and immovable. Always work enthusiastically for the Lord. Yahweh Shai. For you know that nothing you do for the Lord is ever useless. Beloved, I don't have anything to add to that. I hope you are edified or praises, honor, and glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Yokakodai. Shalom, beloved. Shalom.